On November 27, Farid Moradhani, the niece of Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, compared her uncle to fascist dictators like Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. Dear viewers, welcome to another exciting edition on God's Eye. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. Farid Moradhani said, For how long will some part of the world be oppressed by a political dictator? Is in the experience of Hitler, Mussolini, Ceausescu, Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein. Mordani's comments were featured in a form of a video posted to his YouTube and Twitter by his younger brother Mohammed. On Friday, it was not immediately clear when the message was recorded, and Mohammed said he was arrested and jailed on Wednesday. All mankind is watching as the Iranian people stand empty handed and fight the forces of evil with exemplary courage and bravery, Mordani said. Today, the Iranian people carry this heavy human responsibility alone, at the cost of their lives. Mordani also criticized the United Nations' apparent inaction, other than short and ineffective statements, as his country suffered clearly brutal oppression. She also criticized the ridiculous and derisive sanctions imposed on Iranian officials. For the first time in human history, women are dictating their hidden power over this patriarchal society, courageously demonstrating that the real power locus is in the mind, not the muscles, Moradani said. I got Moradani tells people around the world to stop supporting this bloody and infanticidal regime, which she says will not follow any of these autocratic rulers of Islam's religious tenets. Moradani said he urged him to inform the government. Mordani and her siblings are the children of Khomeini's sister Badri Hassani Khomeini and her husband Ali Tirani. She had already been arrested in January after praising the widow of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who was overthrown by the 1979 Islamic Revolution. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Volker Turk said in Geneva on Thursday that the human rights situation in Iran was deteriorating. It's hard to see what's going on in this country. Images of dead children about women abused on the streets, people on death row, Turk said. Recent years have seen a wave of protests calling for justice, equality, dignity and respect for human rights. They have faced violence and repression. The unnecessary and disproportionate use of force must stop. Turk said 14,000 people, including children, have been arrested in Iran since the protests sparked by Masa Amini's death in September. Amini, 22, died after being arrested by police for not wearing the hijab properly. At least 21 of those arrested at the protests face the death penalty, and at least six have already been sentenced to death for enmity against God and corruption on earth.